already spoke to the motherfucking FBI. Yes, I'm saying that. You hear me? I'm saying that. <laughs> I spoke to the police department. Y'all could call me a rat. You can call me a snitch, a snitch, a snitch. Who got my nails? Just for snitching the snitch. The Lord will come with fire. Jesus Christ is coming with fire. Keep playing with my fucking family. I'm gonna get you locked up. Where's the next you coming? Keep playing with my family. Where's the next you coming? Roger that, sir. The old Harlem hustle. Where's the next you coming? If Zion wasn't here, they would have been here to my house and we tracked that. Number one was James Harrison, too. Rare 6, Roger that, sir. It goes to another level. Snitch! Snitch! Rare 6, Jacob, Roger that, sir. Rare 6, Jacob, Roger He restructures his plan. He don't really know what y'all about to do or how y'all going to do it. But if you tell him every damn thing, he already know what to do for you. Stop being foolish, playing his game. Stop allowing people to come up with these cameras and tell you all kind of dumb shit that has nothing to do with your survival. You want the woman to have babies without a man. She's God. Should we have a black woman? I mean, all of this is retarded shit. Why you keep rehashing over things that we've answered 50 years ago in the name of progress? Everybody wants to be the star. And I hope they be stars. But the reality of this is that, yes sir, ain't none of y'all gonna shine for long. You gonna make some money. You're going to have your car, your house, a little notoriety, but like a star, which is a dying planet, that flickering light, your ass is going out because you have sold out. You sold your people out. You sat back and fed them lines and lines of shit that you know don't make no sense. The mitochondria DNA of the woman determines this and that. You've demasculine the black man to the point to where he comes to a lecture to hear another nigga tell him about which woman he should have. She's the God. Go in, brother. And you're, you're not even mentioned as to what your title is. She don't need you because she can have babies without you. Well, I ain't never seen a woman have no damn baby without no man. Teach that truth. They talking all of that yang shit. The white man don't even get on TV and tell you this dumb shit. I don't know what scientists they're getting their information from, but they should stop that. Because all you've done is destroyed your own community. You've done the devil's work for him. I don't know if y'all getting paid for this shit by the devil, if you're cold-blooded by the devil. If you're a cold-blooded agent by the devil, if you're a cold-blooded agent, agent here. Gotta go. for the devil, right or if you're an agent and don't know it. But since you tell me you're as smart as you are, I doubt that you don't know that you're doing his work. I know you know you're doing his work. Personally, I don't think this community that they call conscious is all that conscious. Because... Look at the list of shit that has been debates. And honestly ask yourself, do any of that shit make sense? And if I want to hear something stupid, I'd ask this skinny black ass. Oh, in your face. <laughs> skinny black. Hey. Well, nigga, why don't your next lecture, why don't you bring a woman up on the next lecture who made a baby without a goddamn man? Please do that. Otherwise, tell the people you lied and you bullshitted them. And for all them dumbass lectures that they paid all that money to come to, give them their goddamn money back. Brother, y'all better wake the fuck up, man. Stop letting these niggas... <laughs> Talk about it, Shabazz. Go Come ahead. on. I ain't gonna call no name. But some of the worst demons that the conscious community have is these niggas that's sitting up here promoting shit. And then you turn around and invite the devil in 
to your shit, and he make a mockery out of you. Then you start arguing with each other and act like y'all ain't friends no more. But motherfucker, meanwhile, you in back closets having little conversations about shit and think niggas don't know this. Nigga, we know everything you're doing. Stop it. Because in a minute, your ass is going to be grass and we're going to be the lawnmower. And Whoa. the nigga that's pushing the lawnmower is going to be that 85% that you keep thinking is dumb, deaf, and blind, don't know shit. But you got niggas waking them up. Come on. And when they wake up and see that all you did was trick them and dick them, your ass going to be grass. Stop dogging your people for a dollar or some fucking fame or know the right. Because you want followers. Nigga, we don't want followers, we want leaders. Stop this dumb shit. I wouldn't go to another motherfucking lecture. I don't go to them anyway. But I wouldn't go to another lecture that a nigga giving because all they gonna do is tell you the solution to the problem is at the next lecture. <laughs> so come back to the next lecture and we can give you the solution. Well, you've been going to them lectures for years and they still ain't spoke about the solution. Yeah, my brother. And 15 minutes after the lecture over, them niggas outside fighting each other. Get the fuck out of here, man. Ain't no unity. Stop lying. You make money off all the niggas. You niggas make all this money. Don't give a nigga shit. But that's all right. Because just like Lazarus sat at the king's table and accepted all them goddamn crumbs, and when the shit hit the fan and Lazarus put his royal robes on and the king ass got demoted and shot down, the king was begging Lazarus for some water. So I ain't giving you shit. What? Not even a crumb like you did me. We ain't gonna make you a slave like you did us. We ain't gonna do none of that. We gonna get rid of your ass. We ain't playing no games. The games is over. Accept your own and be yourself and be true to yourself. No. Oh, we are skinny. Otherwise, oh, skinny. your children are gonna do the same thing to you that the cracker kid is doing to him. They're gonna come in the house pissed off and blow your goddamn brains out. Why do kids do it every day? He get a bad grade in school, the mama say, okay, time out, nigga. You can't get that Cadillac. You say, all right. Go down in the basement. Daddy got all the guns and bombs. He come back upstairs, wipe everybody out. Why? Because that's his nature. He don't like being tricked. But you love it. Wake up, bro. Even if you don't wake up for yourself, wake up for your babies. Bong, bong. Don't be in the way other people teach you. Otherwise. <laughs> consider yourself suicidal. Because what you're doing is killing yourself. The highest drug, the most expensive drug in the world, the most dangerous drug in the world is goddamn stupidity. Mm. I already spoke to the motherfucking FBI. Yes, I'm saying that. You hear me? I'm saying that. <laughs> I spoke to the police department. Y'all could call me a rat. You could call me a snitch. A snitch. A snitch. Look at my to my house and we tracked that. No one was the emergency. Roger that, sir. It goes to another level.